Hey YouTube. So I gotta tell y'all some stuff, man, because this is crazy to me. This is like so this is it for those of you that have seen the altar video, ancestor altar video. This is basically a continuation of that, if that's even a word. So um let me tell you guys what happened. So um I had been contemplating doing like an ancestor altar, but after a huge amount of research and uh, meditating on it and everything, um, I went ahead and I made the altar. So with the altar, one thing that I find really crazy, and I know that this was something that I was meant to do because of how this happened. So my husband does like truck driving and he'll drop off like different items, drywall, stuff like that to people. And um, one of the things that happened that he dropped off, it was countertops for like a kitchen. So um, when he dropped it off, for some reason, there were um, three corners that were left, kind of like a right angle, right? And um, with that right angle, um, they didn't have anything that they could do with it, the store that he was dropping it off to, right? Let me move you over here so you can see better because I'm kind of shaking on my leg. So... Um, they told him you can have it. I don't want it. So they gave him three one of them We did something goofy with it for my sister's birthday and the other two. They've just been sitting in my closet mind you um, I try to go through the house and I try to toss out as much stuff that causes clutter and um, That was about to be thrown away a few months ago because it had just been sitting there and I'm like We're not using this. This is just causing clutter bad energy I need to toss it but my son was right beside me when I was about to throw it out and I told him take these to the back door and he was like no these are daddies he won't I said he ain't gonna know they gone you know like because we wasn't using them for nothing so I ended up getting distracted by something going on with the other kids upstairs and um I ended up leaving them now let me tell you this I came back from riding with my husband on one of those days so after coming back with him I was like you know what I'm gonna go ahead and um take those two pieces and I said I can screw them together and end up making like a full square because of how perfectly cut they were I'll show it to you guys later because I am going to do a video on burning ancestor money so I went ahead and I put those together and um that same week I had to go up north for something so there's an Asian market that's right next to my kids um what's it called uh doctor's office and I had a hunch that they would probably have ancestor money in there because they're not just a grocery store. They got some of everything in there. They got freaking China and, and all of that in there. Um, plates, bowls, cups, teacups, a whole lot of tea. I used to go there for tea when I lived up north. So I go there, find the ancestor money, like a whole aisle. Now, mind you, I wanted to get like some big bills, but some of them were like in another language I, I i'm saying another language because i'm not trying to be offensive or anything i don't know if it's chinese or japanese korean I, i'm not too sure but it was in another language so i just got the ones that said like hell note on it and um then i got like some gold and silver to burn it in because you're not supposed to just burn it open so i got that to wrap it so i got that now another crazy thing that happened because i had to go to an appointment with my kids on the way back, I saw the numbers 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, and 77, which all of them were saying, you're going in the right direction, you're doing the right thing, keep going, right? And mind you, those are angel numbers. If you don't know what angel numbers is, I'll link it below. Um, so I got home, I screwed those two pieces together. I went ahead and I put, um, I didn't have incense at the time. So I put my bundle of sage up there to burn to represent air. I put like one of my uh, amosonite stones on there to basically represent earth. And um, I put a glass of water and I put, what's the other element? And then I got a candle. I bought a candle that same day too from Dollar Tree and just made sure I put positive intentions into it. So mind you, you guys, okay. I was freaking terrified to do this, even that, even though I got the constant affirmations, I had videos I was watching where the name Jade was dropped, which the Jade Emperor is on this um, ancestor money. So I was still freaked out and understand this. It's just that, like I said before, 
given the way that I grew up, it's kind of hard to get away from that. You get what I'm saying? So I went ahead, put that up there. And then I didn't have any real uh, photo paper to really do it with. So I ended up getting um, just three pieces of paper. And um, I printed my grandmother, my great-grandmother, and my great-grandfather, who um, I know of. You get what I'm saying? Because I still, I don't know how true this is. Y'all tell me in the comments if y'all know. I, I was reading something or watching something where they were talking about be careful about who you um, put up there because if you don't know them well enough, it could be somebody that, you know, had bad vices and you don't want those bad vices to be on you. Um, I also read something that said don't put anybody up there that you hadn't, like, reconciled anything with. Like, if you had a bad argument with them before they left and you never, like, closed that up. You get what I'm saying? But in this case... I knew that my grandmother was a good person, and um, I know that my great-grandmother, my great-grandfather, she spoke highly of them. So um, what I did was I went ahead. You're supposed to light the candle first. I'm gonna, Again, I'm going to talk about this more later. You're supposed to light the candle first, take the ancestor money, fold it up, um, put it inside of the gold and silver paper, and then you burn it. Now, I burnt it in like a ashtray-looking thing. Um, I originally got something else bigger, but I really need to invest in like a cauldron. But again, if anybody's ready to criticize anything that I'm doing, I'm letting you know now. I feel like if this is something that you're going to do, always remember that your intentions is what matter most. Um, it's horrible to sit there and have a thought to do something for certain things, of course. And then you're sitting there like, oh, well, I can't do it. I, I'm not doing it right. And you know what? It's end of the day do the best that you can and if it's the case that your intentions are pure they're good there's nothing wrong with it so I went ahead and I lit the candle I was nervous like I'm telling you my anxiety was through the roof I was scared because I feel like you're still dealing with spirits and um I took the ancestor money I folded it up and I lit it and I said this is for all the ancestors of light both known and unknown um, I thanked my grandmother and I thanked my great grandparents, the ones that I put on the altar. And um, I burnt it up at the altar. Now, this is the interesting part, okay? While I was sitting there, it felt like a weight had been lifted off of my shoulders. I felt like there was something. I don't know if it was a burden. I, I don't know, you guys. But that just came off of me. And I'm even remembering it right now. I'm like catching chills for it. You get what I mean? And I felt like I was almost high. Like I felt so relaxed and at peace after I did that. And um, after I let it burn, let it burn out, I blew out the candle. And um, I just went back upstairs. Um, I meditated. And when I meditated, I used my meditation bowl that I had, like, just got. And um, when I meditated, um, I heard, I'm so proud of you. You're doing the right thing. Don't feel bad about what you're doing. Okay? Um, a couple of days later, I think this might have been yesterday or day before yesterday. I can't remember. Um, I went down there and I burnt some more. And um, as I watched it burn out, I heard don't feel bad about anything that you're doing you have helped your people tremendously don't feel bad about this at all now i'm gonna speak more on this possibly in another video because right now i know some people are like really lost like what is she talking about type of thing but um i just wanted to let you know that it like my house has still been peaceful i have not had you know, any spiritual encounters in here, nothing bad. Um, when I did it, I did not feel dread. I did not feel fearful after I had done it. You get what I mean? I had fear beforehand because I didn't know what to expect. You get what I'm saying? But after it happened, I felt relief. So I'm going to post another video. 
Um, I am going to talk more so about what an ancestor altar is, what ancestor money is, and I'll try to give links for that. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.